I'll be honest, this year and maybe even the last year and a half, Xbox and Microsoft has made a much stronger case for gamers to choose the Xbox platform as the main place to play their games. We've seen them announce new studios from 2018 all the way to now. We've seen them double down on the investment in gaming with Xbox Game Pass, not to mention the great success that xCloud has seen lately, especially since it launched with huge success in numbers. A lot of new games and gamers in general have tried the service and with it tied with Xbox Game Pass, it's become the essential cloud streaming service for gaming. But let's talk about the studios that Xbox just bought. You know, the eight massive studios that make AAA games that will be day and date on those services I just mentioned. Xbox Game Pass and xCloud will have top-notch, high-quality first-party games from Bethesda. And while all of this success could be enough for Xbox to launch the Xbox Series X and S, Phil Spencer and Microsoft decided to buy one of the biggest gaming publishers in the world with ZeniMax, which makes the launch of these consoles that much more interesting and even persuades gamers to consider the Xbox platform as their main platform to game on. And when you take all of that information and all the new studios, you would think that Microsoft and Xbox are ready to settle down and maybe just maybe get these consoles ready to launch with these new features and studios. But you'd be wrong because it looks like Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox and Satya, the CEO of Microsoft, aren't done getting new studios to join the already talented Xbox Game Studio family. That's right, you heard me, the 23 studios that Xbox owns in their first party are going to grow even more. And this isn't some random journalist saying this or some crazy cool leak talking about this. No, this is Phil Spencer and Satya Nadella themselves saying that Xbox isn't done buying new studios. And I have to admit myself, I didn't think they were done, especially since there's been a lot of rumors suggesting Xbox is aiming to be the king of gaming content. Which means one thing, they need studios to make that content. So let's dive into what was said and also talk about potential studios that might join the Xbox Game Studio family. There might be a few names that surprise you, but after ZeniMax, could anything really surprise you? Let's find out. But first, like always, if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. But enough of that, let's get into these articles that really show Xbox is trying to expand upon the amount of studios they have making games. Now, I know this could be insane considering Xbox just spent $7.5 billion on eight studios to make massive AAA game of the year quality games. And it's not just the studios and the talent there, it's the name recognition and the leadership within Bethesda that makes them stand out and also gives us hints at what other studios Microsoft might be looking at. But first, let's get into what was said by Phil Spencer and Satya who were interviewed after the purchase of ZeniMax. Here's what Satya had to say about the studios and what we should expect in the future for Xbox. Though not known as a gamer himself, Nadella's made big bets on the video game industry, buying Minecraft maker Mojang for $2.5 billion shortly after he was named CEO in 2014. Then he bought five more studios in 2018, including role-playing game maker Obsidian, known for the space adventure The Outer Worlds, and the well-received South Park The Stick of Truth. In 2019, it bought Double Fine, maker of adventure game Psychonauts. What's driven him is a belief that interactive entertainment will be a key technology in the next 10 years and that gamers who use Microsoft products expect the company to make titles like those made by the studios he's bought. You can't wake up one day and say, let me build a game studio, Nadella said in an interview after the company announced its $7.5 billion cash purchase of ZeniMax Media which owes several industry-leading game developers, including Bethesda Softworks and id Software. The idea of having content is so we can reach larger communities. So first off, I wanna point out just how much money Satya Nadella has invested into gaming, because I think it does paint a very different picture of Xbox, because it would seem for years people complained that Xbox was on their way out of gaming, and they didn't really wanna invest money into Xbox, and that brand was dead. And to be honest, a lot of those people might have been right, but that was years ago, and now Xbox is something different. It lives as its own entity within Microsoft and is actually one of the most profitable entities and pillars of the company. And it's why I'm happy this article not only mentions the $7.5 billion investment that Xbox made in ZeniMax, but it also mentions the other studios like Obsidian Entertainment and Double Fine, and not to mention the $2.5 billion investment they made with Minecraft. If anything, that purchase of Minecraft should have been the indication that Xbox is here to stay and Xbox is going to take gaming extremely serious. They spend a lot of money to buy one studio making one game, even though it's the biggest game in the world. So when they bring up the history that Satya has with gaming and how he isn't shy to purchase multiple studios, you have to give respect where it's due. And you have to realize that Microsoft isn't done with buying new studios. 
But as for the direct quote from Satya talking about how they can't just build up a new studio from the ground up, you have to think that the experience of building up the initiative might have been a little bit of a rude awakening for Microsoft. Have they struggled? No, but they understand it takes a lot of time to build something up from scratch. And all of the great leaders in game development already work for great companies. And that's the same with the Playground Games' second studio they built from the ground up. A massive AAA studio that's making the famous Fable RPG. Two studios coming up at the same time must have really opened Xbox's eyes with the process of creating huge studios that are able to make massive AAA games. But not only big games, but highly rated games that gamers actually want to play. And that's why I think Xbox decided to buy Bethesda and why they plan to buy even more studios because it will bolster an already amazing first party team that can bring content to Xbox Game Pass, which is what Phil Spencer and Satya say are the main reasons to invest in these studios, which the article says here. That's why Microsoft will consider buying even more video game companies in the future, he said, and why it continues to invest in its Xbox Game Pass subscription service. Content is just the incredible ingredient to our platform that we continue to invest in, Xbox head Phil Spencer said in that same interview. This doubles the size of our creative organization. Microsoft's purchase marks the most dramatic ways the company is looking to build up its Xbox brand. They also give the company more games to field in what's increasingly becoming a hits-driven business. Now, this is what made me want to talk about this, because while I love the fact Xbox is coming this next generation ready to compete, to me it's not just a competition with Sony's PlayStation, and a lot of people are trying to make it look like it's all about fighting Sony and the massive success of the PlayStation 5. That's not what's happening here. Xbox is just investing in their content because they understand companies like Google and Amazon are right around the corner and they're looking for studios to invest in. That means content exclusive to Amazon and Google Stadia. And if you've been paying attention, those companies have a lot of money and are willing to invest a lot of money to kicking off gaming the right way. You throw in Tencent and you understand that Xbox is trying to compete with those companies. Yes, PlayStation is a big factor and they're going to lose some amazing games like Elder Scrolls, Doom, Starlight, and of course, Wolfenstein and Fallout, considering their first party Xbox games now. But what other studios could Xbox look to acquire? That's the big question. Well, let me say right now, I think they're looking for studios that have strong leadership and create massive IPs. I don't think anyone, and I mean anyone, can bring the amount of talent and IP recognition that Bethesda brings. But I have a feeling there's some talent out there that can help Xbox make some pretty new IPs. First up is IO Interactive, which if you've been paying attention are on the Hitman series. I have a feeling that Xbox is looking at them, especially since they have talent and have over 200 people on staff, which is plenty of people to make a massive AAA game. They're bringing out their last Hitman game coming in 2021. And once that's done, they'll be free to make whatever game they want or even be bought by any company they want. So expect Google and Amazon and maybe even Sony to look at them since they will be available. I have a feeling that Xbox is going to kick the rocks over on them and might make an offer they can't refuse. After that, I have a feeling that Bungie might be in play. There's been plenty of rumors that Xbox and Bungie have been in talks for a while, but it's just been a very tricky back and forth negotiation. But to be honest, when someone thinks of Xbox, most people think Halo and Bungie. I honestly don't care about the price because I think Bungie needs to come back home and make exclusive games for the Xbox again. It will be goodwill for the fans and it will feel like the right move, especially since Bungie has been making great games for years. Not to mention they made one of the biggest games of the generation in Destiny. So let's see if anything comes of this later next year. After that we have Asobo who's doing the flight simulator and they've also done a Plague's Tale Innocence. This team has great leadership and very talented people working there. So I have a really solid feeling that Xbox might make an offer on them before they make their big AAA game that shocks the world. They just feel like a studio that's on that cusp. They're about to make something great and they have the talent there and the experience there now that's really going to help them propel themselves into a top tier AAA studio. I hope Xbox gets on them early because I have a feeling if anybody else gets them, they're going to get a powerhouse developing studio. Those are the three big ones I have a feeling will happen. Now, of course, there's WB Games, but that is over and it seems that it won't happen. But after Bethesda and after everything that's been happening, I don't think they're out of Xbox's sights just yet, especially since Xbox was probably going to buy Bethesda for the longest time and is willing to drop $7.5 billion on them and maybe even $4 plus billion on WB Games. That's a massive get if Xbox got both of those and they went into the generation with the biggest stable of first party developers the gaming world has ever seen. But either way, let's hope they continue to shop around and let's hope Xbox takes this content more serious. Because right now, we know that Sony is cooking up some great things and we also know that Amazon, Google, and Tencent are trying to grab up everything they can. Either way, it's going to be an insane ride this generation and I can't wait to see how everything falls into place. <laughs>
But enough of what I think about all of this, tell me what you think about all of this. What other studios do you want Xbox to buy? Is Bungie a studio that will get all Xbox fans to scream with joy? Do you think WB Games is still in play? Do you like IO Interactive and what they can bring to the table? Is Asobo a studio you could see join the Xbox Game Studio family? How many studios does Xbox get before it becomes overwhelming at this point? Does this make Xbox Game Pass a must have for all gamers next generation? Is PlayStation going to have any other studios to even buy anymore? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I just finished Avengers and I had a lot of fun with that. And I'm going to be starting Mafia the Definitive Edition. I bought that because it looks amazing and I had some really good reviews come in and it just looks fun. And I remember playing that on PC back in like the early 2000s. I really enjoyed that game and I played it as a kid. So I'm really happy it came out and I'm going to be able to play that on my Xbox. So I'm pretty excited about that. But tell me what you're playing. Are you going to be playing Mafia? Have you finished? Avengers or what are you doing working through your backlog let me know down below I want to know what everybody's playing and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming later